What's poppin' everybody? Good morning, this is your brother Judah's son. Let's put it out there, TV, P-I-O-T TV, hashtag, put it out there, TV, hashtag, P-I-O-T TV. <sighs> Hope everybody's having a good morning. <clears throat> Up early, about to give me a cup of, a cup of joe. Some of that Cafe Bustelo. I love me some Cafe Bustelo. That's the last time I'm going to say y'all name. Next time y'all got to pay me. Anyway. I holler at y'all about this damn video game dilemma that I've been in for the last eight, nine months. It's crazy. So, last year. Huh, this Yeah, last year. Got a PS4 last year. And, on, of course, with getting that PS4... <laughs> I end up getting the classic game Grand Theft Auto V. Now, mind you, I've never ever completed a game of Grand Theft Auto ever, and the first Grand Theft Auto video game that I ever had was San Andreas. You know, so on top of that, I've you know I've been gaming all my life. I'm not like a super extreme gamer. I'm not the gamer that I was supposed to grow into pretty much since I started getting into other things growing up but I was stuck with my video game so anyway never completed a Grand Theft Auto game whatsoever at all ever sad ain't it and I'm in I find myself in the same dilemma now is because you know my thing with games is I like the experience it's not all about uh, beating it in 48 hours. I like the experience. I like to enhance it. With that being said, I like cheats. I've always liked cheats. And the cheats weren't to help me beat the game quicker. Excuse me real fast. Um, the cheats were never to help me beat the game quicker. The cheats were for you know, to experience the game enhanced. You know, I like my guy to be able to run faster, to be able to fly, shoot fireballs out of his hand, um, be bulletproof, unlimited life, unlimited ammo, you know, whatever the case may be. Like, I just like that type of stuff. And like I said, it was never to make it easier to build the, beat, beat the game. It was like to have more fun. So, you know, with that being said, I've always, always went to uh, CheatCC.com or CheatCodeCentral.com. I've been going to that website for years. I mean, for years, literally since I was like in the sixth, seventh grade. <laughs> I've been going to that site for years. So, what we got going on here? So, uh, you know, so I put the codes in on the game. And... I'm loving the graphics on Grand Theft Auto V. I'm loving them. So I put the, the, you know, I put the cheat codes in on the game, and you know, you could jump higher, you could um, have unlimited health, you could run faster, you know, things of this nature. And so I put the cheats in. Now, when I'm putting the cheats in, I'm really dissatisfied. I become more and more dissatisfied with the game because my whole thing is like why is there not a superhero game out with these types of graphics that grand theft auto has like where the where the fuck is the games at with graphics like this this is this is ridiculously sad that i have to be this regular ass dude um on this regular ass game and i can't it, it, it pissed me off i'm like where's the spider-man like this i'm like where's the dragon ball z like this i was fucking pissed off and, um, you know, so uh, I ended up coming across, you know, because I got the PlayStation Now subscription. So I ended up coming across Saints Row, I believe, three and four, or four at least. You know, so I play four. I beat four. I love Saints Row. I beat Saints Row four. And then I think I played Saints Row five, I think it is, reelected or something like that. But either way, you know, they got the cheats on there. Um, and not even just the cheats, the fact that you could actually build your character up to be able to literally glide for, I don't know how long, jump super duper high, run super duper fast, telekinesis, um, all types of stuff that you would love to have in a video game as, as a superhero game or something like that. 
Saints Row. So Saints Row 4, I believe it's Saints Row 4, Saints Row 5. I don't know. I know by the time I titled this video and upload it. Um, but it's totally ruined Grand Theft Auto for me. I can, Because of Saints Row, I have not been able to go back and play Grand Theft Auto and beat it. That's that's my dilemma. I have not been able to go back to Saints Row and beat it. <clears throat> and that's the issue that I actually have here. See, she uh, she thinks she's gonna say something fly to me about this coffee. I bought this shit. As simple as that. I bought this shit. We ain't gonna be saying nothing to be about me drinking. I bought this shit. Fuck out of here. Yeah, man. So I'm up early. I got a little bit of time on my hands, and I figure, like, hey, I'm going to play some Grand Theft Auto. Turn the game on for a little bit play for a little bit. Shouts out to my, my man Franklin. That's my character right there. <laughs> and I turn it off. And all due to Saints Row, I can no longer play Grand Theft Auto. So, Grand Theft Auto, GTA, Rockstar, y'all need to do something, man. Because I'm sure I'm not the only one to feel the way that I do about Saints Row and Grand Theft Auto, my man. Saints Row 4, Saints Row 5, whatever. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels this way. Uh, I need to open up them cheats a little bit more on this next one. Something. Either way, let me go ahead and throw on my, my good coffee. And, uh, I guess since I'm up this early, I'm just go ahead and get, get to work. Appreciate y'all allowing me to take up so much of your very valuable time. Make sure that you hit the link in the description of this video and in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe to the Put It Out There TV official YouTube channel. Appreciate y'all rocking with us. Um, and we out of here. One.